Ayolu is one of the most popular and historical districts here in Istanbul. It's full of cafes, restaurants and shops, but more importantly, it's a meeting spot for art and culture gatherings. There are many galleries and museums around, but now with Bayolu Culture Road Festival spanning 84 locations, there is even more to discover. Over 16 days, the festival will host more than 1,500 events. The Turkish Ministry of Culture and Tourism hopes it draws attention to Istanbul's cultural, architectural and historical heritage and also bring artists and art lovers together. And the events are dotted across a route that spans more than 4 kilometers from Atatürk Cultural Center to Galataport, Istanbul. So we picked some of them and forged our own path. Our first stop is Atatürk Cultural Center, AKM for short. It's fair to say that AKM stands out at this year's festival. It's alive with concerts, exhibitions and workshops all day long. But let's first find out the reason for this queue. Rumi once said, it's your light that lights the world. And Refik Anadol's AI-based immersive artwork called Rumi Dreams encourages people to find that light. Anadol typically creates digital installations made of data and assisted by artificial intelligence. He says he uses AI to remember the past and dream the future. Any surface inside or outside a building is his canvas, while data is his paint. This time, to combine Rumi's philosophy with technology, art and science, he combed through the entire Rumi archives. We first analyzed the poem in the Masnavi from the 19 different languages with AI. Every keyword, every sentence is individually recognized by an incredibly rich, diverse machine learning algorithms. The second phase was image archives. Thanks to Konya University, they were able to collect more than 1.5 million documents, image archives about Masnavi, about like Sufism. And lastly, the music we are hearing is also part of Sufi Sufism and the music around the Sufism. So technically, we were able to recognize the images, text, and the sound archives of Rumi universe. The result is the six-minute audio-visual performance. Anadol says it's his way to commemorate the 750th death anniversary of Rumi, one of the greatest poets and philosophers in history. And although Anadol resides in LA, he says he reserves his best projects for his home country, Turkey, and he calls this work one of humanity's most meaningful cultural archives. And the whole idea is kind of like reaching this level of understanding our humanity. And I do believe Rumi is an inspiration for entire humanity. We are still in AKM, but we now turn our direction to another exhibition by a Turkish artist. Kochan was raised in Bayraktar, a village in the Eastern Black Sea region. And long after he left to study and work, the village remained etched in his memory. He later established the Baksa Museum, a land art as many refer to it, back at home. And this show, The Turn in My Foot, retraces his childhood. Here are the reflections of the experiences, relationships, life, architecture, and epicons left in my mind from my childhood. This is an exhibition that reflects the closed society and period of the beautiful and happy people in the world where I lived before I met the big city. And the 76-year-old says he always tries to provide space for the younger generation. Kochan is an advisor for the Youth Are on the Road show at AKM, which is a group exhibition centered on young artists. And his biggest advice for them is to always keep dreaming. Speaking of which, we now move from AKM to Grand Para to see an exhibit by fresh graduates. In Turkey, we are really lucky. We have like 76 uh, art uh, faculties uh, in almost 40 cities in Turkey. So it's, there's a wide distribution around the geography. However, there's a downside, uh, mostly art uh, and culture communities concentrated in Istanbul. So that means that there was a, a big gap between the, those talented 
uh, creative uh, young artists graduating from that schools all around this uh, almost 39 cities and they were having an accessibility problem to the art community in Istanbul. Bige comes from a family of art enthusiasts, but he says they found that base mainly to provide a space for new art graduates to interact with society and creative industries. The show base selected features more than 100 mostly recent artworks that explore contemporary issues around identity, global heating, and the relationship between the past and present. And nature is Handan Akarsu's cup of tea. She says she doesn't like the city life, and with a mix of oil paints, styrofoam and tulle, her 3D painting reflects just how fragile nature actually is. I focused on the search for a new order between species, and while doing this, I turned my direction to gardens, habitats, the earth, large and small living spaces. Did I mention that the exhibition spaces are anything but ordinary? Look at the setting here, it's pretty posh. And it's because we're now in, as organizers call it, a historical monument. Sark Dorian was built in 1882 as part of the Grand Para and was a social club during the Ottoman era. The building has a unique architecture bearing the influences of both the neoclassical and the Baroque. And another club that was all the rage in the 70s is Maxim. It now hosts an exhibit by Digital Obscura made of photography graduates from Mimar Sinan Fine Arts University. And the name of the group has multiple meanings. A label is coming from uh, the ancient uh, Obscura, Camera Obscura, which is uh, the grandfather of uh, camera. Digital Obscura also means that uh, it's not related to produce digital image, but using the digital images from different sources, just like surveillance cams, just like cell phones, scanners, every visual things uh, could be in, turned into an art. And the visuals zoom in on notions such as the global pandemic, immigration, domestic violence and security. But Bigi Seren says, despite dealing with such strong teams, the group only aims to inspire. And here at the Post Office Fashion Galleria, the works of acclaimed photojournalist Ara Güler also keep people inspired even after his death. Although many people, including his close friends, call Ara Güler a world citizen, he is mostly known as the Eye of Istanbul. He was born here, and it's no secret that he knew every corner of the city. And his photos here reflect his perspective of Istanbul's Bosphorus and shores. We are trying to bring to the public as much of the archives as possible through many exhibitions, and this is one of them. And what we like about it and what we wanted to, what we aim to um, do this time is to um, represent the different colors of Istanbul under different atmospheric conditions. We don't want to move away too far, and the next step is just kind of next door, Galataport Istanbul most importantly for us is that we want to uh, invest in um, art in uh, public spaces uh, because we get uh, close to 200,000 people on weekends and we get a lot of international visitors as well as locals and we want uh, everyone to be exposed to art and culture. Many exhibitions and activities are happening here. One of them is Back to Real Verse Göbekli Tepe. Göbekli Tepe is located in southeastern Turkey and is the world's oldest known temple. Although it was discovered in 1963, it was only four years ago that it made to UNESCO's World Heritage List. And organizers of the exhibit wanted to offer a glimpse into the ancient site. Everything is like developed in artificial world, but we are losing our real world. Göbekli Tepe has the best story of uh, 
uh, best of cooperation of the humanity to build such magnificent megalithics. That's why we wanted to we wanted to refer and make the focus on the real world to the real world. The show also puts the spotlight on the climate crisis with a wish for a more pleasant future. And the people over at TomTom Tom Design Hood are doing something about it. Clothes made of orange fiber, bags made from bamboo, and jeans produced without using any water. Many products here are made of things we normally call waste. Even recycled artworks are on display. And during the festival, TomTom Tom Neighborhood is the place to catch up with the newest trends, from sustainable techniques to innovative designs. After tracking many different parts of Bayol from one end to another, it's time to call it a day. Organizers of the Bayol Culture Root Festival may have already reached their first goal, which is to create a dialogue. Because we saw many different shows and events, met a lot of people with common concerns for today's problems. It was all through art and in a place people call the heart of Istanbul. Estradrust, TRT World.